Organized crime operates in an ultimate single market, globally, without borders. That's why members of parliament want EU member states to better coordinate their efforts and fight what's called Eurocrime. At an EPP group-led hearing, the group's coordinator on combating crime, Véronique Mathieu, explains why a parliamentary special committee was formed to fight organized crime, corruption and money laundering. It's a major issue, corruption, organized crime, money laundering inside the European Union. It's a major issue for the EPP. We debate it quite regularly in the Committee on Crime. Security for our citizens is a major issue. It's a fundamental right. Salvatore Iacolino of the EPP group is the rapporteur who drew up the special committee's working document. It says the losses in tax and customs revenue from contraband cigarettes alone is estimated at 10 billion euros a year and that confiscated criminal assets should be used for social purposes, as in Italy and Spain. To better use police tools to guarantee strong cooperation, the possibility of intervening concretely, thwarting a series of crimes that cost, according to the World Bank, 770 billion and that constitute the impoverishment of the lawful economy. The hearing underlined how police training is of critical importance to fight ever more sophisticated criminals. In addition to theft, blackmail, counterfeiting and smuggling are online or IT crimes like hacking, identity theft and online trafficking. The strategy to fight organized crime and corruption often requires transnational action. The presence of police prosecutors who have a lot of judicial training, especially in new investigative technologies. MEPs and experts at the hearing note that organized crime is an ever-evolving threat, that a proactive approach requires trying to stay one step ahead of the criminals and creating Europe-wide solutions to fight Eurocrime. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.